Hey guys, I hope you're all good. I'm here with my grandma today. Hello, Kela Sarion. Hello. Hello, Kela. <laughs> so, um, it only is right that. No, it went. I can't get this right. Okay. Hey guys, I hope you're all good. So, I'm here with my grandma. <laughs> hey guys, I hope you're all good. I'm here with my grandma today. Say hello, grandma. Hello. 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 I'm hoping you can hear this because I don't know if the mic's picking up like us too clearly just because there's so much going on in the background we live on like a, a bit of a busy road so you'll be hearing a lot of like tractors trucks buses going past so i apologize about that now but anyway i'm still in india at the moment and um i don't know what my grandma's doing she's trying to sort out my outfit but anyway um what i was trying to say here she's just distracting me i thought it'd be really nice to do a video with my grandma of her putting like hair oil in my hair because she gives the best massages like head massages so i brought my hair oil with me so it's this one here um and it's from a brand called delicious and it's i think that's like it's like delicious i can't pronounce it anyway <laughs> anyway it's a brand that I use for like other skincare as well. So they've got like a, a balm that really helps with like dry skin and eczema. And I've started to get like dry skin and um, especially like around my eyelids. And whenever I use it, it just like fully clears it up and it's all like natural ingredients. So I saw this on the website as well. And I was like, you know what? The reviews are amazing. And I'm a person that like really goes after reviews. And I'm kind of wishing I didn't record right now because the ladies are like washing our clothes like just there and they're just making a lot of noise right now so i don't know what the thing is you can't choose the right time to record here because there's always someone coming and going or like there's always some sort of that like, racket going on in the background so hopefully you can't really hear much of that but anyway i'm gonna get grandma to put this in my hair now and i'll talk you through like um what this is like what the ingredients are yeah then i'll get in <laughs> She's really used to like just pouring this in like a hand, like putting any hair oils in a hand and then put it in, putting it in, putting it on my hair, on your hair, yeah. What is the of it? Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, what a, how rude. Do you know what she just said? She said you haven't even got that much hair, like, um, I've not even finished this one. Honestly, do you know what? Some people here have got no filter. Um, another thing I've noticed in India, actually, is, um, Another thing that I've noticed here is that, um, people just point out the obvious. So, like, um, one of my relatives, he lives near us, she came over the other day and I was literally just, okay, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> um, she came over the other day and I was just like laying down in the munja and she, she basically just said to me, I'm not going to say it like in Punjabi right now because people are just going to pick up on it and just, anyway, she basically just said like, oh, your hair's really thin, isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Yeah, see what I mean? If I say one thing, people pick up on it. So basically, she just said to me um, that your hair is that really thin. Um, and she was like, oh, has it always been like that? And I'm just like, why are you sat here staring at my hair? Like, we were all talking about something else, and she just comes out with that. And so it's like super annoying um, when people do that. Because it's like, I, I know my hair is like that, so why are you like, still pointing it out? And you, grandma's saying your hair is like really long now, which it really is, because it used to be up to here. Anyway, and then, um, so because of that, it just makes me feel a bit, oh, sorry. Yeah. It just makes me feel like, um, that I don't want to be like sat around these people because I, I just know what they're going to say, so. <laughs> Grandma's really getting into it. Why? 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 Why?
yeah, so then I just like walked away. And then like, you know, um, if you've been watching my videos from the start, like sometimes um, I'll put a bit of like eyeshadow like in my parting area. No, it doesn't end the pillow. Did that end? Me the bar of it? No, I don't want to Basket it. Basket up? Basket, basket. Yeah, so sometimes I like cover it up here just because um, it's a lot more thinner at the front. And when I've been taking pictures and the sun's been hitting my hair, it makes me look bald, even though I'm not. But like, I think it's just because my hair is just like so thin all over that it just gives that, that it gives that like illusion, which is annoying. But anyway, I've been doing that. Back to this hair oil. Sorry, guys, I digress. It's full of like, um, natural ingredients. So I did have it on my phone because I know I'd forget um, the ingredients are basically all the ones that you know you see like all these trends going on like especially with that like, rosemary oil and all that so it contains rosemary argan oil which you, all these things you can buy separate but it's just combined into one bottle which i just think is so much more easier so argan oil like you'll probably all know about that as well like it just helps like the shine of your hair then you've got sesame seed oil sweet almond oil um, i know a lot of like indians use almond oil in their hair as well Amla oil, not oil, just amla. So amla is like a fruit. I think it's a fruit, right? Um, and so the people in India have been using amla oil for like centuries. <laughs> Did you hear that, guys? <laughs> she basically just said, my grandma uses amla oil and uh, my hair is natural. Hair does he massage? Nay. Have you seen this? She's trying to shortcut this. She's meant to give me a head massage and she's not been giving me it. So I've just asked her to do that. Um, yeah, grandma's hair is actually naturally black. Does he bow the cow? I don't know if you can see it, but basically, yeah, her hair is like jet black and she's 80, 80 years old. And she's only got like a couple of like growers, which is amazing. So yeah, like I said, people in India have been using amla oil for centuries and their hair hair is just so like long, thick and luscious but God knows what happened to mine. Um, so yeah, basically this is a combination of all those ingredients. And like I said, it's like, it's pretty much, I don't know if it's 100% natural. We ha she's basically saying you can get amla oil on its own, which we do have at home. Um, and what else did I want to say? So I've been using this about once a week and the thing that I've noticed the most is that my hair is actually in like better looking condition, as in like it's a lot more shinier. Just a bit of a, a little limgar break. If you've not had limgar, you need to have limgar. You can only really, what, so, what am I trying to say? In India, it just hits differently. Anyway, yeah, so hair oils are just like a, Yes, yeah, so hair oils are just a thing that people in, in India use like so much. Um, it's part of their like, um, well, not a ritual. It's part of their um, hair care. It's just a thing that they do like every day. They would put oil in in the kids' hair but, like before they go to school. Like it slipped back with oil. That's not happening to me. Like. I'm not going out with like slip back hair. Grandma's saying that all the flies are going to come after me now with this in my hair. There's actually one sat on my camera right now. Bas, say bye, Grandma. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so um, it's actually really warm, guys. I'm finding it hard to concentrate. It's like 37 degrees, which is mad, and I'm just out here melting. But anyway, um, I put this in my hair once a week and I find that it's a lot more shinier now, my hair. Especially like the ends because like I haven't had my hair cut for quite a while. When I say quite a while, I think it's coming up to like two years, which is mad considering like I get my hair cut like every few months or so. But I always find when I go to the hairdressers, they, um, you say you want like this much off, but then they end up like saying, oh, well, your hair's like dead anyway, so let's cut off this much. And before you know it, like it's not the length that you'd ask for so I've not been going to the hairdressers and I'm just trying to see that like, how um, how long I can grow my hair out um, and to be fair it's done a pretty good job and yeah, I've just been using um, 
To be fair, I haven't been using that much oils. I've just started using this one quite recently. So I don't even know what it's down to really. Um, I've been having a lot more protein and they say hair is protein, right? So that's one thing that I've like majorly increased is my protein intake and then my iron tablets, which is just helping like my hair fall. Um, and sorry, I thought someone's coming in. Um, but yeah, I don't know if any of this video has made any sense. I should have um, thought this out a bit better, but it is what it is right now. Um, I hope, I don't know what I hope. Is this even, wait, no, it is recording. Can you imagine if all this happened and it wasn't even recording? But um, I'm gonna leave it here. If you guys have got like any of the oils, um, oh, that reminds me, one second, speaking of oils, remember I reviewed the rosemary oil one and um, I was saying that it needs to have like a carrier oil. It's getting a bit noisy, isn't it? I was saying that rosemary oil needs a carrier oil with it. So you know how this has got sesame seed oil and it's got amla, well that's not an oil but it's an ingredient. You know how it's mixed and it's got like, um, is it argan oil and almond, sweet almond oil? It's mixed with all, all those things so that, that becomes like the carrier oils for it instead of applying it straight to your scalp. Um, yeah, I totally forgot to mention that bit to you guys earlier. So like, um, it just helps to like ease the irritation and stuff because if you're like applying things that like, directly into your scalp like it can irritate your scalp like it did with mine um right i'm getting really warm so i need to go inside and just sit under the fan for a bit but um i hope you have a lovely week and i'm sure my india diaries will continue depending how i put this out but um hope you've enjoyed listening to this and my appearance on my gram She's, um, I'm gonna try to do some more stuff with her if I can get hold of her because she's just like always like keeping busy and doing things but anyway it's gonna get a bit more noisy because I can hear a tractor coming so I'm gonna love you and leave you guys hope you have a beautiful week and I'll see you soon bye